Father, we bless your holy name. In Jesus' name, amen. Are you ready to praise God? Oh, are you ready to praise God? Are you ready? Are you sure you're ready? Are you sure? Are you ready to dance? Yeah. 
Abodi ni narabe yiwa ye Abodi ni narabe yiwa ye Sing a praise unto you, my God. I will dance, I will shout for you because you're my head forever and ever. Hey, my Lord is good, though. In the morning when I wake up, I will sing my praise unto you, my God. I will dance, I will shout for you, because you my head forever, never. Everything not over the blow. Everything above the blow. Promotion double the blow. Marriage. Awesome God. Praise God. Oh, my Jesus. Awesome God. My Jesus. Oh, we give you praise. Awesome God. I want to see you dancing. I want to see you dancing, somebody. Iye kale kale. 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 
seu ser
of God. Yeah, our God is an awesome God. Oh, mighty God. Awesome God. Oh, he's a mighty God. Oh, we give you praise. Awesome God. spirit for a few minutes you're about to enter the moment of worship it's the name of the living God begin to bless the name Mako Shadia Pahasa Manu Shadilibri Katali Baba Likitil our God is listening is waiting for our worship He's waiting for our worship. Begin to declare. The law shall never have the upper hand. 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 The law shall never Oh no, no, can't be to me, Kabi. Yet the soul, yes, I said, to me, Nama, no, oh no, 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 E ye ni pa ba ko na wa sha e china Adu ku to na ka wa sha shiro no No ba ya Ni pa ba 
wako na wakae bebo Eye ni baba ku na osaitna Ano kuto Lift your two hands up, everybody. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless you, man of God. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Please take your seats in the presence of Jesus. Hallelujah. You are welcome to this August program. I believe God will meet us at the point of our needs, and our lives will never be the same tonight. Kindly high five the one by you and tell him, Oh, hey, God bless you for coming tonight. Tell him, oh, hey, you will never live the same. I believe God will meet you at the point of your need. Hey, in his presence, there is liberty. You have to flow. Just clap your hands and celebrate Jesus, would you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. So, we'd like to invite our dear sister, Lady Franca, to minister unto the Lord and unto us some powerful songs. Hallelujah. Put your hands together. Let's welcome the woman of God. God bless you, Lady Franca. Don't be surprised. I just had a surgery just a week ago. And I said, uh, in my knee, my right knee. And I said to God, whether knee pain or not knee pain, whether surgery or not surgery, I'll still come and bless you. Amen. So don't worry about the knee. Just focus on the song. And let the song minister to you. Amen. Amen. Please, can you give me strings? Strings. B. B. Amen. I just want to bless our hearts with songs of worship. Kindly be in the spirit and worship the Lord with me. For in the heavenly realms, the angels bow down before him and they say, holy, holy, holy. Holy is the Lord God Almighty, the one who is and is to come. Mataliata no shaha, maruakata de ata, pia labado shanta labado shaha, ikata labado shanta labado sia, rakatalia zata lo shaha, ma parua zakianta labado sia. Elohim Adonai, ruaka kodesh is your name. I am the I am is your name. Li parua kitanda. Isa koli asata labadosha. Father, we have come to give you worship. We have come to give you praise and adoration. Take all the glory. Take all the honor, Lord. Mashata labadosha. Tis so sweet to trust in Jesus. Just to take man his words, just to rest upon his promise 
To the more oh, sign a moment like this. I will lift up. Are you sitting down? Lifting up your hands to Jesus. I will lift up my voice unto the Lord.
together lady franca god bless you wow 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 come on give it up give it up give it up my goodness god bless you thanks for that powerful song ministration tell somebody your life will never be the same can you be upstanding let's just do this quickly lift your whole, your two hands up make this declaration say i declare i am more than a winner i'm never living here the same goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i shall dwell in the house of god forever see i'm here for prophetic manifestations i know god will meet me at the point of my need clap and shout like your voice is yours hallelujah praise god Tell somebody by you, you look good tonight. Please take your seats in the presence of Jesus. Hallelujah. All right. Giving time is always a blessing time. We can all meet together as God's people without giving our offerings to appreciate him for how far he's brought us and for his goodness towards our lives. The Bible says, give and it shall be given back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over. He will cause men to give them to your bosom. And so you want to pick a quality of friend tonight and we want to sow our seeds and give our offerings and believe God together that he would bless us as we give to support the work of God. Hallelujah. All right. Some numbers are on the screens and if you want to sow online, you can go ahead and do that. All right. So lift your offerings. Father, we speak blessings over every life and we pray that as we give. Supply every need according to your riches and your glory in Christ Jesus. We bless every life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Is that just Emilia here? Yeah. The lady, Emilia, Emilia Inkum. Yeah, sweetie, come here. Come and just sing. Let's do our offerings. Amen. Now, I'm changing the programs a bit because of time. Please bear with me. Amen. And let's be snappy. We have some few hours to spend here and I have to be very fast so I can have time to preach and prophesy. Hallelujah. All right. Okay, so you die from the rear, and then when they come, they sow their seats. And let's just do the snappy. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Kadosh, 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 is the Lamb of God who sweet upon the throne he alone is worthy so far free kadosh 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 
kados, 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 kados. Is the Lamb of God who sits on the throne? He alone is worthy. Kadosh, 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 kadosh. He's the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. He alone is worthy of our prayer. Kadosh, 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 kadosh. Kados, 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 kados. He's the Lamb of God who sits upon the throne. He alone is worthy of our praise. If you believe God is really worthy of your praise, clap your hands and celebrate Him. Wow. Mr. MC, please come pray on your friend. Amen. Come pick the mic, pray on your friend, bless your friend, and then we can proceed. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Let's pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this seed that we have sown. We pray that this seed will grow and germinate in the name of Jesus and bear fruit in the name of Jesus. Let the purpose of this seed be accomplished. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you. Put your hands together. All right. Um, a, a lot of people have had the opportunity of meeting with my ministry, and God has used me to be a blessing to many people. I'm seeing some faces already. So there is the testimony session where we give people a chance to testify of what God has used our lives for in their lives. Amen. Some have watched me on my channel, Rima TV. Some have watched me on, on Facebook, on YouTube. And you probably may have had a miracle brought in your life. And you want to testify. Okay, so if you have any um, testimony to share, I would like you to um, be upstanding. Come forward. We'll give you the microphone. You share the testimony. And then Prophetess Ariam will come and pray for you. After that, she will bless us with a song before... We we'll prepare ourselves to receive Minister Baba for her ministration, and then the word of God will come. Hallelujah. All right. And so, if you have a testimony, you can show me your hand, and we'll invite you over to come and testify. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Let's clap for our brother. Who else? God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Come on. Who else again? You have a testimony you want to testify? Clap for them. Clap for them. Encourage them. All right. Thank you. So, in some few minutes, maybe two minutes, you tell us. What God has done for you through this ministry after that, the prophetess will come and pray and seal um, the testimony and then she will give us a strong ministration. You are talking to the people. It Praise the Lord. Them. Hallelujah. Uh, Papa, the Lord bless you and then increase the anointing upon your head. Amen. I happened to move to a new area in Accra, uh, Pokwasi, where Papa's uh, church is. Then I was looking for a church to attend then I passed and something said, Hackman, in my head. Then I turned, turned right. I turned and saw your church. That was how I found myself there. Then when I entered, there was, uh, it, was, it was a Friday. Then Papa ministered and told me that uh, there's a call on me. And that, uh, but I was running. But the Lord said, he's going to bring me to my knees. And actually, at that time, I was on my knees. And Papa said, that is why you are on your knees. Mm. And he says that, look, until you accept that call, you are not going nowhere. Then I told him, look, I'm tired. I've given up. Then Papa prayed for me and said, there's a new season. Things are going to change, and I'm going to be shocked. Immediately after that, I just went back to Bible school. Within some short time, I got to Dane, and I was like, ah, things are happening so fast. I don't even understand. And look, I've been trying to come to UK for since the 90s, 1990 something. It never happened. Immediately I got ordained, I, am, I found myself here. And it's like, Papa, I am just so grateful for the anointing upon your head. 
And whatever you told me has come to pass. Praise God. Praise My spiritual God. life has changed praise and everything God. is different. Church, come on, let's celebrate the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Everything God has said about you will certainly come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, God bless you. Amen. Because Pentecost, na. I'm saying because for the yeah, na yentango. I'm a member of the Pentecost Church, and you know how we the Pentecost people are. We don't normally visit churches. I actually wanted to travel overseas. I'm going to Ghana, Winiba, and I will introduce me to what type of person I am. A friend introduced me to Bishop Brookman's ministry from Winiba, Ghana. And he made call on me say, "Okay, right, they say." <laughs> Papa, you're offering your mia. <laughs> so one to me, yo. I told God that if this is a journey man of God, because me that me me go be grada, me do wa ye ye worship na me dinya e share deke mo me do fi ya de frame me no e no na Papa boy. So Today I entered the auditorium. I didn't know the man of God, but he prophesied and mentioned my name. Nana maso da ya menti asi o kai men semu ina chreme sa ke semi behuno. He interpreted my dreams and told me to go see him. Obomba ya mama. He prayed for me. In the past six nani ya je visa. Day na papa obomba ya mama no. Three days ni ya friend me say. Remember. Were three going for the for our visas, and after the prayers, I was called to go secure my visa. Hallelujah. Amen. Now me try say me call Papa Hobi but that day ni me nya no. Inti the three days me so that I say me call Papa Hono. Enya eni me na sorry no. Obe four steps in Timbi. And so na we ru aso dem mo. Me four steps na da emu na me share Papa. No santeni me ni the chair road no so. And no mama touch light. So. Na oso e ne e ku e chipa no ka chire me say me hu be bia touch light ne ko. Don't like no say or sort of down who are a radar anymore. Or see, send your touch light in Iano. Obeco and Musa. Wow. Hallelujah. I had a vision and I saw the man of God prayed for me and gave me direction about my future. Na dear young coupon, a yeno. Me can have me can we share a radianum yam. Amen. God has been so good after all these prophecies and all these encounters with the man of God. And I'm thanking God for his life. Amen. God bless you. Let's be snappy because of time. Amen. Praise God bless you. Come on, clap, 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 clap. Uh, I thank God for the life of my father here. Um, I've had the privilege of serving under him when I was in Ghana, and he ordained me into ministry. And that in itself is so much blessing. And coming to the UK, he prayed over me. And it doesn't happen often, but before I got to the UK, I had a job waiting for me. They actually waited for me to come, even before my visa got in. And recently, when he came, I went to see him. And I told him that, Papa, I want to change my job. Mm. And he said, son, let me pray for you. So I got home. The following week, the HR called me. And the amount of money that I was actually expecting, they exceeded it. So for me, it's a privilege to serve under my father. God bless Come you, on, church. <laughs> Glory. We, we, we thank God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, in 2017, when I finished my master's and went back to Ghana, and uh, things were difficult for me. So I wanted to come back again. And I went to see a bishop. And bishop told me that it wasn't time for me to come back. Though I didn't want to believe it, but I still... Uh, stayed back in Ghana. Then 2018, I went back and he said it was time for me to come. So daddy kept praying for me. I wanted to apply for six months, but um, I did put in two years and I did so many mistakes with my application. But anytime we go for, I go for Tuesday prayers, daddy will call me and he'll prophesy to me that my visa was on the way. So when I put my application in, I saw a seed on the altar and told God that within 14 days, I wanted to hear something from God. And on the 13th day, wow. they sent me an email that I should come for my visa. I even went to hide <laughs> in the toilet 
to open it because I was scared. When I opened it, the two years was in, and then I came to England. When I came, and I wanted to settle here again, and it was really tough for me. So I hadn't uh, spoken to Daddy for a very long time, and my things has been with the Home Office for one good year. My passport was locked there, and I was so depressed because I didn't know what to do, and I know everyone knows what it is when you are not settled here and you do not have your documentation. So I went to the shop to buy one or two things, and my mom told me to call daddy, and then I called him, he prayed for me, and within some few weeks, uh, my legal advisor told me that uh, my settlement has been granted. <laughs> Are you that jealous? <laughs> Wow. <laughs> Praise God. And when, uh, before daddy came here, uh, f uh, when, before daddy came here, I think some weeks ago, he was in Europe. And I don't know, I, before that, I had a dream and I saw daddy in my dream uh, about my marital uh, de uh, delay. So I didn't even tell daddy about it. And within some weeks, daddy sent me a message and told me that he was coming to the UK. Then I said, with this, I'll go and see Daddy and tell him about the situation because I was getting depressed about the whole thing because, because from when you come from Africa, you know, family and friends, everyone will be looking up to you. You should get married like you have everything. You've gone to school and everything, so you should get married. Hey, so don't let anybody <laughs> pressurize you. Wait, let me just... It, it, listen, listen. He made, he made all things beautiful in his time. Am I communicating? And so don't let anybody put... Sometimes these people asking questions like, when are you going to marry? Don't have this. <laughs> and they are asking you, when are you going to marry? <laughs> so wait for the soup to cook. <laughs> don't drink the hot water and chew the garden eggs and uh, say you are cooking the soup. Inside. You have marasmus. <laughs> and so what has happened? So has he come? When, <laughs> when, God. when daddy came... And I went to see Daddy, and then I, was t I told Daddy about the situation. I was telling him that when someone comes, what they usually tell me, I do not like it. And Daddy said, no, you are too blessed to go for that. So when Daddy went back to Ghana, a, a friend of mine in Scotland told me that he has a, a, a pastor friend who is also looking for someone to start a serious relationship with. <laughs> 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 so uh, she gave the number to me, and by God's grace, we are still talking. And uh, have you seen? <laughs> have you seen his face? Yes. Do you like his face? Yes. <laughs> it's very important. Are we clapping like that? Very important because <laughs> Hallelujah. And after preaching for all these years, well, let me just. <laughs> After preaching for all these 30 something years, one thing I've decided not to do again is to say, Thou said the Lord, marry him or her. If God even tells you to marry an angel, you must decide to marry that angel. You should like it. In his face, you see your grandchildren. Do you like him? You like him? Is he cool? Does he respect and honor you? Then go for it. Hallelujah. I seal it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Yeah, with all the men that I have met, like uh, when they come, they are not forthcoming. But with this, he knows what he wants. He says, "I can't date more than a year, <laughs> at least." Uh, Leave those ones and hide them. <laughs> Father, we declare that you who have begun this good work will certainly accomplish it in Jesus' name. Amen. Can we clap and celebrate grace? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Um, my testimony is in two parts. So last year, no, it was this year, I visited um, Rema Calvary Center in Accra. Okay. And I was called out. And Papa prophesied to me that um, he saw that there was an attack on my health from my workplace. And it was true. I got employed in that particular place in 2001, and there was constant stomach ache. Wow. Even water would make my stomach ache. For that two years I was there, constant pain. I was in constant pain. And the December before I visited the church, the doctor had done every test. He couldn't see what, what was wrong, so he had to do an endoscopy. 
and then put me on a treatment and it was still there. So daddy told me that there was an attack on me at my workplace and I had actually seen it in a dream that a colleague had poisoned my water. I had seen it and it was obvious when you enter the office, you could see that I was in that position. But God being so good, ever since I came to this country, <laughs> This country that is different with different foods and everything, I have never had a problem with my stomach. Wow. Never had that issue since I left Ghana. And then the second testimony, that same day, daddy told me that I was processing my documents to travel to the UK and that God had settled it. I had gotten it. That's what daddy said. And when I um, submitted my passports to the office, within a week... I got an email that my visa was ready wow. and that I should pick it up. Wow. And <laughs> the amazing thing is that we planned that I was going to come here um, 31st April this year. But I was the week before I was going to go on my leave, start my two-week leave, then leave. I was in the office. It was one Sunday. I was just doing my filing, just putting things together before, before I leave. Sorry. And then I got a call from the agency that we need you in the UK on Tuesday. And I, that was Sunday, and it was as if Ghana was telling me, leave, 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 we don't want you here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, unfortunately, we had already booked the flight. We couldn't get one on Tuesday. So I had only two, three days to prepare, and then I left and came. God has been faithful since wow. I came. And I just want to give God all the glory. God bless Hallelujah. you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Put those hands together. Hallelujah. God bless you. The prophetess will be coming to pray for... Okay, that's fine. So let's welcome prophetess Aram. Hallelujah. Amen. Kindly pray for all these people who testified about the goodness of God. And kindly tell the protocol people outside to come in. We are about to take off. Okay? And then after that, you minister as led by the Spirit. God bless you. Let's clap our hands Thank for us. Praise God. Before I pray, I just want to share one test. Just, just one minute. Well, um, I started watching him this year. And if I I don't even know what to say. You know, so we have to be led by the Spirit. Now, this year, I was asking the Lord, I need to connect to somebody that is very high in the spirit, but I don't know. So the Lord showed me two men of God, and he was one of them. In fact, I kept following my spirit, followed my whole house, followed my family, followed, and our lives have never been the same again. So if you don't watch him, please, get connected. And then I, I, I prayed to God, I want to see this man in the UK this year. Now, I was wondering, and then I saw the posts that he was going to Italy. I was like, I should have been in Italy because I was from Italy before I came here. In fact, I saw the church he was in. I was like, no way. Come on. I wish I were there. Then, in the next few days, I saw that he was coming to Birmingham. And I was like, what? My prayer has been answered. Wherever he is, I'll go there. God was so good. Just 15 minutes drive from my home. It was just awesome. And I knew I was connected already in the spirit. In fact, my husband loves him so much that he doesn't miss the Tuesday. And then when I went there, my God, from nowhere, the Lord used him to even tell me that I was even in Italy. And I was going to go there again. In fact, he prophesied everything gift on my life and I knew the Lord connected me for good. Father we just want to thank you for every testimony shared tonight. We are grateful. The Bible says we overcame him by the blood of the lamp and by the word of our testimony and so shall it be and it is our portion we are covered and we seal every testimony. Greater testimony will come out of this meeting tonight in the name of Jesus. We know your name will be glorified and exalted forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This is holy moments when God walks in on us. Every guest 
is on the lion and the lamb. This is holy moments when God walks in on us. Every kiss is on the lion and the When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say tonight. Ooh, oh, oh. When the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. When the glory, when the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Oh, are you ready tonight? When the glory, when the glory comes, there'll be no words to say. Can you feel the presence so far? God bless you, prophetess. Amen. I want you to stand to your feet. Lift your two hands up. And you want to pray just two prayer points. After that, Minister Baba will minister. And then afterwards, I will take over from there. The Bible said that where two, three gathers together in his name, there in the midst of them, he resides. So God is here. Because we've met in the name of the Lord. And we are the spirit of God. As the Bible said there is liberty. You want to pray that father meet me at the point of my need. Let my heavens open. I want to be under an open heavens. Let grace locate me tonight. Come on lift your voice and clap your hands and begin to pray. And tell God my heavens be open tonight. Keto peke vele eseke blango. Ye go de shede de be hesse fele kete gran tipo ka riko te shada enda baba ko shada abeli kata gran toke ze vele ekos kete ba le balo kate ste raba baba baba ba en la koba ke vre de ste kalaba en brasa taki ba le kola ze taka en bra de so taka ba en la baba ko shada ba ya we need your visitation of God let the heavens be open maliko to se bre ke Legado gashi kataba, embraga da setete, ina la la ba kataga, engado shanda ba ya, ina boko shanda ba, embraka ta ya ba da ba, ina la la kata, lekaba shabra kata, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now grab the hand of the person at your right or your left, one to one, so two two, one chases thousand, but two shall put ten thousand to flight. 
if two of us here on earth shall agree as touching anything together the bible said it shall be done for if i agree with your brother and your sister you are praying that father i'm a destiny helper to my brother and my sister i'm a prayer partner to her we agree together we'll run through a troop and we'll leap over walls tonight you are saying god let power come on my sister that she will never leave here the same begin to lift up prayer and begin to pray de suta ampe kadia le coste vala e ke tepe a raba ba kuta palita le gradeste kanta ba le kopala ate kapapa le badeste kala listo e braketo kale shita baba e la kata kablanda rasta kanda kata le kata 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 le gradeste kapa a ba kuta la agresion de papa e ya ba kuta abelia le brakunta baba kuta bade le to Keste, le kababasta, le koste e palateste, le krateste kalate, le bakuta kataka, le kanda ble koste falale, le kabashuta papa, e kada grisu prata kata, e shata kata, le kapa kapa papa, mato kaberi ata, le kabashada, in the mighty name of Jesus. Well, clap your hands and give glory to God. Take your seats. So we are inviting Minister Baba to minister unto the Lord and unto us a song as led by the Spirit. Put your hands together for the woman of God. God bless you. Hallelujah. Flow. Amen. Thank you, man of God. God bless you. Amen. As we were praying, all I could hear is they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagle. I know it is tough to wait. I know it can be painful, but wait. Even though it may tarry, it shall surely come to pass. I am a living testimony because I know how long I have waited. I was born with sickle cell. I don't know. I know you all know what sickle cell is. Doctors said I wouldn't live past 18. They even went to head and said, I can't have children. I have three kids, the glory of the Lord. I'm going to be 43 in January. I have lived way past it. 43 in January. It can only be God. So I have come to encourage each and every one of you. Wait on the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding in all of your ways. And I say all of your ways, not some, all of your ways. Acknowledge him and he will direct your path because he never fails. Because he will never leave you. He's a covenant keeping God. Can I have B flat, please? You are covenant keeping God. You are the covenant keeping God. Yes, you are. Yahweh, covenant keeping. That you won't forsake me. You walk beside me, and that is all that matters. The sun won't smite me, and the moon it will not hurt me. The flood won't sweep me. The Lord, you are my.
Have you not done it? Hey, Karabo, Sharaba. You are. Yes, you are. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And we seal it. 
in the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Oh, you can do it better. You can do it better. You can do it better. Hallelujah. 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 You can be on your feet. If you can be on your feet. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Praise the Lord. Scripture says that the kingdom of God suffered and violent, and the violent taken by force. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. In the house of the Lord, there is no gentility. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you lift up your faith level, whilst as, as the word of God is coming, anything is possible. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The next voice that you'll be hearing is our Papa. Hallelujah. The, our Bishop. Hallelujah. But before that, before that, we will let the, the team um, show us the profile of our Bishop, our Papa. Hallelujah. So the next voice you'll be hearing is the voice of the man of God, the man servant, who has been a blessing to so many. I'm, I'm, I am also from Takradi. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm also from Takradi. Hallelujah. And uh, I've heard great things. I've seen great things. Hallelujah. I think the last time, let me just say this. Please, just bear with me. The last time I was watching um, uh, one program on Facebook, um, a church called Christian Restoration Center, uh, Dr. Kenneth and uh, Prophet Aponsa, they were talking about Bishop. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So it's a blessing to receive this man of God in our midst. Hallelujah. The oil that you respect works for you. Hallelujah. So open up your spirit, man, and receive the man of God. Hallelujah. So the next voice that we'll be hearing is our Papa. Hallelujah. Praise the team. Please, you can go ahead. Thank you. An apostolic force on the continent of Africa, a pioneer of the prophetic in the central and western regions of Ghana. An evangelist who has preached the love of God across all the continents of the world. A bishop to over 200 churches, the founder and general overseer of the Wilma Calvary Center. He preaches the undiluted word of God in his meetings. With miracles, signs and wonders following, his conferences under the Ewusi Brookman Ministries has impacted and won millions of souls to the kingdom of Christ. An author of many inspiring and life-changing books, the CEO of Rima TV, a Christian television channel with over 6 million viewers worldwide. The Chancellor of RBA, a theological college that has trained and graduated many ministers of the gospel. He is married and has two sons. Over 33 years in ministry. Over a thousand pastors ordained. Millions of lives impacted. A general of the body of Christ. Commander One, the Prophet of God, Bishop Edwin Ewisi Brookman. Wow. That one was for me, a better one for Jesus because he deserves all the praise. It's all about him. Amen. All right, that was powerful, 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 powerful. Is that a husband? Man, let's clap for the family. Powerful, powerful, powerful. Lift your two hands up for me. Um, I, I, I love this song. Give me G. Okay, Ghana. Um, yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah For the Lord our God is faithful For the Lord our God is so many potent Hallelujah Father we invite you to take charge You will live, move, and have our being. 
thank you for presence we declare the healings and deliverances and miracles will be wrought in this atmosphere may nobody live here the same meet needs heal the sick set the bound loose sinners be born again but slid and restored back to glory and at the end of the meeting father we vow to give you all the glory thank you lord in jesus name amen come on clap and take your seats wow one samuel the chapter number 16 if you please the verses numbers 1 through 14 long portion of scripture but our drawings are very salient uh, revelations from there so 1 samuel 16 1 through 14 now the lord said to samuel when i finish preach and um, reading then you can hold so yeah so now the lord said to samuel how long will you mourn for saul seeing i've rejected him from reigning over israel fill your horn with oil and go and i'm sending you to jesse the bethlehemite for I've provided myself a king among his sons. And Samuel said, how can I go? If so, he has it, he will kill me. But the Lord said, take a high fall with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Then invite Jesse the, to the sacrifice and I will show you what you shall do. You shall anoint for me the one I named to you. So Samuel did what the Lord said and went to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming. And said, do you come peaceably? And he said, peaceably, I've come to sacrifice to the Lord. Sanctify yourselves and come with me to the sacrifice. Then he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invited them to the sacrifice. So it was when they came that he looked at Eliab and said surely the Lord's anointed is before him but the Lord said to Samuel do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature because I've refused him for the Lord does not see as men sees for man looks at that word appearance but the Lord looks at the heart so Jesse called Abinadab and made him pass before Samuel. And he said, neither has the Lord chosen this one too. Then Jesse made Shammah pass by and he said, neither has the Lord chosen this one. Thus, Jesse made seven of his sons pass before Samuel. And Samuel said to Jesse, the Lord has not chosen these. And Samuel said to Jesse, are all the young men here? Then he said, there remains yet the youngest and there he is keeping the sheep Samuel said to Jesse send and bring him for we will not sit down till he comes here so he sent and brought him in now he was ruddy with bright eyes and good looking it's good to look good it's good to look good and so after today put your swag on wherever you find yourself and the Lord said arise anoint him for this is the one and Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brother. Sometimes you hear people use words like they got a prophecy they were supposed to have called me in private to have spoken to me privately. Sometimes, yes, I believe in that. I respect um, values and whatever. But there are times where in the midst of your brothers, the prophecy must be spoken. So that when God does it, everybody will attest of the fact that we were there when the word came forth. So they anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel arose and went to Ramah. 14. But the spirit of the Lord departed from Saul. And a distressing spirit from the Lord troubled him. May the Lord bless the reading of his word. In Jesus name. Amen. Okay, I'm speaking briefly on what I've titled prophetic manifestations. I thought you would clap. Anna. What is that? Hallelujah. 
We are in a prophetic service. I expect you to clap. I expect you to really be into the message. Clap, shout, jump. If you feel like coming for the microphone, you can do that when I'm preaching. I mean, let's be crazy a bit. Hallelujah. All right. Now, this is the story about a man called Samuel, David, anointed by him in his father's house, Jesse the Bethlehemite. Because Saul had gone apostasy and God decided to reject him. So Samuel comes to the house of Jesse the Bethlehemite, looking for one of the sons of Jesse to anoint as the king over Israel. Sought for the one God had appointed. The first born Eliab came forward. God said, I've rejected him. Shammah came. God said, I've rejected him. Abinadab came. God said, I've rejected him. And I believe by this time, Samuel was a bit worried. Then, by revelation, he said, is there any of your sons left after all the other siblings had come? And then the old man said, yes, there's yet one somewhere in the wood and he's taking care of sheep. He said, bring him over. As soon as he arrived, God said, this is he. It's amazing how God chooses people that are less respected, rejected, dejected from the society. For his own glory. I saw from this story, ladies and gentlemen, that God is drawn and attracted most often to the least, the last, and the less. And I just can't understand how he comes that low for nobodies like us. I believe it is to reveal to us that he's in a class all by himself and he does it as and when he wants to do it. And tonight I came to announce to you that no matter how bad they've said you are, he's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above what you think or ask, according to the power that worketh in you. If I'm in your neighborhood, clap, stand up, and scream like your voice is yours. <laughs> Sit down. I check through scriptures. I want to see scriptures like he takes the fullest things of this world. To confound the wise 1 Corinthians 1 27 and the base things of this world to surprise the mighty. I'm like, God, why will you go that low? And David says it this way in Psalm 8, the verse 1 downwards. If I consider the heavens, the vast expanse of space, the galaxies of stars, and the works that thy hands have created, who are tall as man that you are mindful of and so every morning afternoon evening night dawn god thinks about me this least privileged man this non-entity this nobody then i convince myself that if you could go that low to visit david somebody taking care of his father's sheep i've got good news for you no matter what they've said about you by the close of this year you shall be visited by god if you believe that's your prophecy jump up and scream Sit down. 2 Kings 19 30 and 31. A remnant shall be taken from the tribe of Judah. It will take its root downwards and bear the fruit upwards. Root downwards, fruit upwards. Deeper your root in pain, shame, despondencies, negativities, flourishing fruits. And so if you see me deepening myself in pain, torture, frustration, depression, don't be quick to categorize me in a category that is negative. I may probably be going through my mess for a message. I may be going through my torture for a better future. I may be going through my doom for a boom. If David at the backside of the desert, forgotten by all, during the convocation he was not called, but later on we saw him becoming the one God appointed, then I prophesy on you that among your mother's children, this will be your year of a supernatural visitation. I declare over your life that the deeper your roots in your frustration will become how flourishing your fruits are going to be. If you believe that's your prophecy, clap your hands and stand up enemies don't rejoice over me for if i'm down 
today tomorrow i shall rise up again if i sat in darkness when he saw me don't be quick to write me off tomorrow by this time god shall be my light i don't know who i'm talking to better is the end of a thing than the beginning though my beginning shall be small my latter shall greatly increase psalm 37 verse 37 mark the upright man behold the righteous the end of that man is peace and so my beginning may be at the back side of the desert but baby i've got to made the power to become the king of israel i prophesy on you that this suffering of this present time is not worthy to be compared with the glory that is set before you if david was remembered get ready get ready hour of remembrance is coming and you shall be favored stand up and scream like your voice is your So now let me preach. I check through scriptures and I get amazed about how God takes nothing and makes some things out of it. Rahab, the prostitute of Jericho. You probably may not have read much about her, but I've taken time to look at her critically. When the spies came to town, and the news went to the king of Jericho that the spies were lodging with her. The king didn't struggle to locate the house. That tells me that she was popular. Probably the king himself was a client. Am I communicating? When they were leaving the desert to come to Jericho, they received an explicit instruction. Go straight to the house of the prostitute. That means that she was an international escort. They knew her beyond Jericho. Am I communicating? Such is the woman I'm talking about that when the whole story ended, she had become the wife of one of the princes of Israel. To make it worse, she now ended up becoming one of the physical grandmothers of Jesus. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that. So I realized that you could be as bad as bad, but God can lift up a man from the dungeon establish him among princes that he may inherit the throne of glory I declare over your life that everything they've said about you is okay your time to shine is now I prophesy over any Rahab here over any David here let me talk about Joseph in prison for three years and within a split second a prisoner had become a prime minister God is able to do it suddenly abundantly above what we think of us according to the power that worketh in us I declare over anyone here that if David was remembered from the backside of the desert your day has come to be visited stand up clap and scrap tell somebody you don't know me yet you don't know me yet tell your neighbor you don't know me yet tell the person my life it's a living testimony. I am about to happen before the end of the year. Oh, Lekebeko said the Debehaya. If you said it, receive it double. You see, oh, sit down, please. Saul was the most tallest person in Israel, and it's believed that he was very handsome. I mean, the guy had a very nice look. And so for God to have rejected him, I believe by this time, Samuel was looking for somebody who looks just like Saul. Who told you God will always repeat himself? So looking around, and Eliab had been enlisted in the army of Saul. So he probably had all these looks like an, a military man. So Samuel thought certainly this would be the one God would choose. And God said, no, no, that's a mistake. I've rejected them. I'm choosing somebody who doesn't fit into the mood. But it's the one I've chosen. You may not look it. You may probably not dress it. But when God decides to show up, nobody can stop God. Church, this is your year. By 31st December, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, you will have a testimony to tell and you'll glorify God. If that is your prophecy, shout like your man. Let me not get beside myself. I think I'm delaying on this. Now sit down. Um, <laughs> can I continue? Yes. The verse 14 says that when Samuel anointed Saul, the verse 13, the spirit of the Lord came 
upon Saul from that day forward, which means the spirit of God and the oil were used interchangeably. Oil poured on him, spirit came on him from that day forward. That debunks the rubbish going out, out there that people have problems that olive oil we used. I have a problem, you, you know, using it in excess and selling all those things. But then we can anoint people with oil. Your amen is not born again. Yeah. We can anoint people with oil. Yeah. And the Bible said that that day when the spirit came upon Saul, sorry, um, David, then the spirit of God left Saul. So in one vein, one gets the spirit. In another vein, another person also loses the spirit. And I'm like, God can really cross his hands. One door closes on people, another opens on people. Now, I was meditating on it, and I saw that was the old covenant. But in the new covenant, since Hebrews 8 says we have a better covenant with better promises, I realized that God is so merciful in these hard times that even when he loses it, he still has an opportunity to have it. If he will confess. Because the anointing is so much in excess. That his gift and his calling this time are no more without repentance. When I was in secondary school, I recall once I went, did something illicit. Born again, but did something bad. They came in my absence, did some roll call. And my name was added to people who were not on campus. I was supposed to have been suspended in fans beam. And <laughs> as bad as I was that night, because I smoked and I drank, I ran to the prayer chapel and knelt down and said, God, if you forgive me this once, because my father was that crazy, should he hear that I'd been suspended, the man will give me a beating I will never forget. <laughs> So I went before God and I prayed and said, God, have mercy on me. Forgive me. And of the 80 people who were caught, not on campus, my name was erased supernaturally. <laughs> now, so if you see me preaching like a machine, I have a covenant with God. From that day, I said, God, I own up. Students, that is not to say go mess up. No, your case may probably be different. But I'm trying to say that even in my mess stage, the spirit did not leave me. He had mercy on me. And I'm here to announce to you, it's a new day. We are to preach the new covenant and let you know that if you even blew it, if you came back, his grace is still sufficient for you. That is not to say go about and mess up. We love him because we understand he first loved us. And so coming to let you know that Saul lost the anointing. That's not mean you will lose grace. His grace is still on your side. The Bible says on the day of Pentecost, 120 of them in the upper room and like clothing tongues of fire, it settled on them individually. Which means that my anointing must not be lost for it to come on David. Even when I'm messing up, David had his own fire on his head. I have my own fire on my head. Brookman has his own fire by you have your own anointing. Tonight I came to announce to you, I see fire on every head. You will never live the same. You shall be visited. If you believe the club and shout yes. Then finally to the main message, I saw from this very story, the prophetic is authentic. He wanted to ordain somebody to stand in the stead of Saul and never chose any of the priests in those days, any of the shepherds, but he sent a prophet to the house of Jesse the Bethlehemite. That suggests to me that God authenticated the prophetic ministry. There's been a lot of buhaha on the prophetic and uh, fake prophets and all those things. We all made mistakes when we began. I mean, I've been around for some few years. And uh, I saw the teachers in Ghana. Some were preaching Roman Catholic, was Babylon, and all. That. And today they've become established churches with all those preachings to a point where some have invested in everything. And the word forgave them. We saw the evangelists, those days, Emmanuel, ending them, they came with a whole lot of lies. You see, like people like Vaglas Kanko, powerful men of God, preaching salvation. The evangelistic wave came. Most of them made mistakes. But our word forgave them. And we applaud and celebrate evangelists. 
And so the prophet will come with their own stuff that we have counterfeit pound that's not stop us from spending good pounds. You are clapping. Are you in the house? <laughs> Ephesians 4.11 He gave some to be apostles, prophets, pastors, and teachers, and evangelists for the perfecting of the same. Some theologians believe that when he was writing, Paul was writing to the Ephesian church, he saw the five fingers of God in the prison. And they say that the term stands for the apostolic. If somebody calls himself an apostle, Vantifosi, uh, in San Kokomotino Fanti says that you don't bypass the, 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 the tomb to tie a knot. And so they believe the apostolic finger is, the, is this one, the tomb. It binds all these fingers together. So if somebody calls himself an apostle, we have to see a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. If you don't have it and you call yourself an apostle, please drop it. Because we should be able to see, you know. And then this finger is the pointing finger. They said, and in that order, from Ephesians 4, 11, you see apostolic and prophets. The prophet, they come to point. See. Thou said the Lord, I can see that. You can't say I can see that. People would say you are insulting them. You understand? You, I can see. And this is the middle finger. This is the evangelistic finger. We are all to go to the world and preach. But this evangelist, this one goes out more. If somebody calls himself an evangelist and doesn't go out more, tell that man to shut up. Most evangelists are in churches causing confusion. As an evangelist, step out. Then this one is the finger for the pastor. They say there's a vein that joins this finger through to the heart. Sugar in my tea, papa in my compound. And, you know, a pastor is like a mama of the church. Everybody travels. He stays at home, nurses the bruises of the people and makes sure he works on them both to will and to do of his own good pleasure. When they do something bad, everybody gets perturbed and angry, but the pastor says his grace is still sufficient for the sister, spends quality time working. I'm not a pastor. I don't have that kind of patience. Hallelujah. But pastors are the patient. Come and clap for pastors. I respect pastors. I respect pastors. Then, if you've got wax in your ears, you don't use this one to remove them. You remove the wax from your ears with this finger. Teachers, they come to teach us. This is the teaching finger. They teach us to remove rubbish from our ears. All the junk we have grown with and all those philosophies and ideologies, they come to teach us and remove those things from our ears. That's the ministry of the teacher. But he gave this gift to the church for the perfecting of the saints. I heard some people saying that the prophetic has ended with the last prophet in the Bible, but so long as the church is here and the church has not been raptured yet, we have to understand that the prophetic is still in operation. Yes, Am I communicating? <laughs> Give me 1 Corinthians 12, 28. I don't know if they can project that for me. 1 Corinthians, the chapter number 12, the verse 28. 1 Corinthians 12, 28. 1 Corinthians 12, 28. He ordained, he has ordained these in the church. He has ordained these in the church. Is that there? He has ordained this in the church. First apostles, second prophet, and a continual. He has ordained. God has ordained. God has ordained. And so if you are talking about a real New Testament church that has been ordained by God, you should see these gifts in operation. It is the church age. So long as the church is not raptured and God has ordained this in the church, then when you see an apostle, you must see a prophet, you must see an evangelist. And you see the teachers, you should see all these ministries operating in the church. So for God to have sent some was to tell us ladies and gentlemen that he has authenticated the prophetic ministry he didn't send the shepherd the pastors he didn't send any of the priests he sent rather the prophet to go and ordain David from his father's house and so I realized that the prophetic is authentic let me just say with you five things about the prophetic and then I begin to minister from this very story are you ready to hear the word number one I saw from the story that in the Old Testament, the prophets were scary. They were scary. When Samuel came to town, people were scared. The elders were shaking and they said, did you come in here peaceably? But in the New Covenant, 1 Corinthians 3 says that we must become ministers of the New Covenant. We are not supposed to scare God's people. In those days, a prophet comes, he can divide the earth into two. People be swallowed by the earth. They 
command lions to come and eat little children for laughing at them that they were bald headed. But in the new covenant, ladies and gentlemen, we preach the love of God. We preach grace. We preach mercy. We are not to scare God's people. And so that's why I can laugh with people, pat people at their back and hug them. After that, my anointing doesn't change. I still can prophesy. Why? Because it is not of him that will it nor he that run it, but of God that showed mercy. The battle is not to the strong. The race is not to the sweet. Riches are not to men of understanding. Favor not to men of skill. Time and chance happen to them all. And so yes, Yes, I can shout and still prophesy. I can still look good and prophesy. I must not look shabby. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the ministers of the new covenant. I came to announce to you that tonight if you are testing for the prophetic, it will fall on you and God can use you for his glory. If you believe it, clap and scream. So we are not to scare the people. If you have a prophet that you are under, who scares you, go tell him, Bishop Brookman said, don't scare me again. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. In Ghana, where I come from, the prophets are scary. And, and, and we all began like that. You know, when I started, I was very, very young. Now, I was so to home when I was. For them to feel you are anointed. So when I'm coming to the auditorium, I have bodyguards, soldiers, police. When you greet me, I said, how are you? <laughs> God bless you. But I realized I could prophesy without that one. And God will still be glorified. Are you clapping like that? Oh, I saw again from this very story that the prophetic releases destinies. The guy was hidden somewhere in a remote place in the desert. And by the time the story ended, the prophet Samuel had come to release this young man and had become a national phenomenon. I realized that my presence here is purely prophetic. I believe I came for some particular person. And I believe by the end of this conference, it shall be clear. God will meet you at the point of your need. God will lift up the David. I didn't come for everybody. I came for the Davids and the Davids are here tonight and God said I should tell you from the back side of the desert you shall be brought out and you shall manifest your glory. Can you clap and scream yes. The prophetic releases destinies. It's true the prophetic has done a lot of mess. But I don't know about you, but I have seen the most bad people, worst people saved in prophetic meetings. Hard guys. Hard girls. When God lifted me in Western Region, I was the first person who pioneered the prophetic in Central and Western Region. Hard girls. Hard guys. Who are today prophets and pastors. Hard people. People you couldn't tell them Jesus loves you and goes scot free. They will kill you. But names are mentioned. People's problems are described. Instant healings in meeting cripples, walking blind, seeing. They had no choice than to bow, prostrate before God and say, Jesus is Lord. And they give their life to Jesus. And so can we for once forget about the negatives and look at the positives a bit? Why are we so much at this side of the pendulum that we don't want to look at this side a little? Tonight, Something will change in your life. Yeah. Your amen come from Japan. Yeah. I said something will change in your life tonight. Your loudest amen should attract a miracle tonight. Hey, somebody scream. release your destinies if you are hidden in the remotest place in the desert i see you coming out they told you you'll be ostracized the rest of your life but i've got good news for you you are coming out i said you are coming out david i said you are coming out among your father's children you will step out and be the best come on stand up take some steps and shout i'm coming out My 
Makutabala vidu kada. Sena, let me preach to you. Kadu vali badi gadeshta. Karuba baba bahaya. We saw again from this story that the prophetic can make a great man a great man. Nobody rejected by everybody. His own father didn't even know the potential that was in him. And, and anytime I read that place, I'm like, where was David's mother? Because the African women I know, if there's a convocation like that, and everybody's child is coming around, mama will go and pick his boy from the desert and try to brush him up and say, go, walk well, chest out, and make sure you get your swag on in case God calls you. Where was his mother? But I saw from the story that this useless man, in quote, had stepped into prominence. It was there I realized that the prophetic sees the future. Everybody sees your mess and your past and your inadequacies and all the negatives, but the prophetic sees beyond you. That's why tonight I came to tell you you are the best guy that ever happened. Oh, Bishop, do you know what you're talking about? I failed in my exams. I failed even at the airport. I failed with all the interviews. I failed everything. I, they, were, they nearly repatriated me. And you may probably have said all kinds of things about you, but I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at the future God has for you. Yeah. And your future is so glorious, your past cannot stop it. Yeah. Is the God of all flesh, is there anything too difficult for him? I stand in the oil and I prophesy on London that if you are in this meeting, your heavens shall open and may God give you a glorious future. Lift your leg and shout, yes. But when seven of me had it. Encounter with the prophetic anointing. Made Saul. Unfortunately he messed up. Made Saul. A chaser of his father's donkeys. A prophetic person and a king. One anointing can turn the whole situation around. And David now had become a giant killer, killing Goliath, killing giants, is babin up, killing giants of the Philistine, killing. Why? Because the anointing had come upon him. Anointing the prophetic mantle will move you into realms of wisdom to walk in revelation. David picked first Muston. Some said that he named, he was um, writing Jesus, J E S U S, with the five stones and whatever. You can read meanings into that. But theologically, he took the five small stones because the Philistines have five principal cities Ashdod, Ekron, Gat, Gaza, and Ashkelon. And Goliath came from Gath, so he had one rock for him and left the other four stones just in case. Any giant from the other four cities rears their ugly head, there will be enough stones in the back for them. Now, it is the anointing that was rubbed on him that gave him this revelation to walk in that insight. I don't know who I'm talking to, but you walk in revelation after today by this supernatural encounter. Every place the source of your fish are tread, you shall possess. Where people have not gone, you will go. Where people have not done, you will do. Places people have not entered, you went a while because the oil will hit your life. Can you stand up and shout? I said, stand up and shout. And David now was so filled with the spirit because he met Samuel's prophetic mantle that David in Psalm 23 is speaking Rima and inside. The Lord is my shepherd. I said, no one. He makes me walk. I lie down in green pastures. 
Blah, 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 blah. He anointed my head with oil. He reminded himself of what happened with Samuel. And my cup ran it over. And because of that goodness and mercy shall follow me. Who told you the prophetic will bring harm? It will rather bring goodness and mercy to follow you all the days of your life. And you will not backslide. The prophet will not let you backslide. You will dwell in the house of God forever. The devil is a liar. I came to announce to you that God will change your story and something will happen to you. Can you clap and shout I receive it? Can you begin to pray in the spirit? Etofi kiti katanga. Greto freso so si 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 ha ha. Wale bele kese brende greto sto frete ken kalita tungsta ha. Eh bede 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 gede gede bede gede hese kete blenga. Ligo baba ba shude de de be katu pa te kapa. Ato kliso frade shiki pa kuntali ale. Yendo kende banda kento kende vele. Ibrasata kapali katusta kapapa. Rabi babu ba shadade reba yende. Let me hear your voice. Come on church. Balusta 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 balusta. Embra kitu kala lisu kiti kitaka. Liko badenga kitu papanta kate. Libo usha kata klinto. Embra sente kavili atosti kapa. Wati katenge kantoni abe. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can you clap for Jesus? It's all about him. About you. Now I want to do some prayers and then I'll begin to minister. Are you in the house? Yes. I realized from this story that you remain at the desert until your destiny helper shows up. Yes. I get nauseated when I see people God sends your way and you can't even see them. Mm. Oh, Jerusalem, Jerusalem. My prayer is not that you will not miss the day of your visitation. Thank you, Lord. When God orchestrates the step of some helpers your way, see them. I don't care whether you are Jesus, you are still in a manger and you need the mega to come with gold. May and frankincense. I don't care whether you are Jesus. Luke chapter 8 verse 3. That was, you need certain women out of their substances will support your assignment. Everybody needs somebody in this life. And you are saying that God from now to the end of the year. Wherever my helpers are, let them appear by fire. You are not clapping at all. Shout help three times. Uh, 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 uh. I said shout help three times. Help! 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 Are you in the house? Yes. Now watch this. When Saul was coronated king over Israel, the Bible says Nahash, the leader of the Ammonites, came against the people of Jabez Gilead, Israel. Then the news was sent to Saul. Now Saul gathered 300,000 men and they went and fought. And he overcame Nahash. Nahash, the Hebrew, means a serpent. So a king who was a serpent, he was evil. But Saul, under the unction, overpowered him. Strike the keyboard. Overpowered him. And when he overpowered him, the Bible tells us that they never followed Saul to assist him. Can you imagine? Look at me. Now, this guy is being attacked by Nahash. I come to fight and defend him and rescue him. And when I went out, to work as a king. He never followed me. That's how bad people are. You help them, but when you need them, they will never show up. Mm. Now watch this. They, they never followed Saul until Saul died on the mountains of Gilboa when he was killed by the Philistines. And when he died, the Bible says that and valiant men from Jabez Gilead rose up at night and they went and rescued the corpse of Saul from the hands of the Philistines and they went and buried it. And I'm like, so these were valiant men who could have stood with Saul to have fought the Philistines. They never showed up until Saul died. Then when he died, they came and took his corpse and went and buried it. I said to God, anybody who must help me should not wait till I die before he shows up. I need help and I need it now. 
Are we together? Lift your hands up. Say, Oh Lord. Lord. As I clap and I pray, as I clap and I send pray. help right now help right from now. the east, send the west, the, west. The, south, the south, and the north. And the north. Can you clap and fire prayer? Let me hear prayer. Let me hear prayer. Can you clap your hands for Jesus? Help on every side. Help on every side. The last topic before I begin to minister. You'll be walking this time around and you'll be praying. Father, I am out of any desert the enemy has put me in. Some of you sleep and you see yourself walking in a thick forest. Your life has been bottled and caged. But you are stepping out of every limitation. Father, let the limits be lifted off. I'm coming out of distress. I'm coming out of defeat. I'm coming out of failure. I'm coming out of every encumbrance, every resistance of the enemy. I'm coming out. Lift your hands. Say, Oh Lord, as I clap and I walk and I pray, say every limitation, say break my fire. Break my fire. comes over you and you are the one you step forward and open your heart and receive it so that God can minister to you and change your situation are we together come on are we together let's clap for the Lord 
Baba, I'm, I'm going to minister with you. So please come upstairs. Yes, come. Yes. So when I'm ministering and you are led to bring in a song, or I'll give you a sign you bring in a song, and just let's just minister to God's people as I pray for people in the name of Jesus. Lady Franca, come on here, sweetheart. Come, come, come. Uh, can you please help her? When you came to stand here, I was looking at you. This thing that happened to you is an agenda of hell to have paralyzed you. But God loves you so much. God loves you so much. And I'm happy you have your life. And I'm happy God is healing you. And you shall be perfectly healed. Amen. Oh, you are not clapping. standing here I was seeing something can I pray for you can I say something to pray for you I want you to stretch your hands on her for me I see an arrow from salt pond sorry that's where your dad comes from and the agenda was to paralyze you completely but you see, you have been called by God to minister and to be a blessing to lives. So his counsel and his covenant, he will not alter. Mm. So he had to protect your life. That's part the arrow that was shot. Now I came to tell you that if there's been any arrow shot against you, the arrow is reversed back to sender. For no weapon against you shall ever prosper. Every tongue that will rise against you in judgment, we condemn it. Amen. I said we condemn it. Amen. I said we condemn it. Amen. Stretch your hands on our sister. Say every arrow. Every arrow. From the father's side. From the father's side. Against her life. Against her life. Say back to sender. Back to sender. In the name of Jesus. Name Can of you Jesus. clap and lift a prayer? <laughs> Uh, get, get it, the, place, what, the things I'm going to say, you must sit down because it's too many and because of your leg. Uh, sit, sit on my chair, sit here. Sit here for me. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Look at me. Who is Edward? Your dad is Edward. Is he a pastor? He's into ministry. Yes, yes. Who is Darcy? He's, he's Darcy. That's your father. Yes, so he's yes. Edward Darcy. Yes, please. That's me. Yes. Yes, please. So I understand why. I understand why. Why is he doing ministry? We've tried a couple of times to frustrate the ministry, frustrate his life. He's not giving in. And all of you are praying, interceding for him. Okay, so if we can get him, let's attack. Who is Priscilla? I just saw her. Are you a sister to her? You've been praying for your dad. And because they couldn't get him, they said, let's attack the Doris. I see a boy. I see a boy. Come here for me. C can you stretch your hands on them? We want to pray and who is Constance huh? your mother so then they are not attacking only daughters they are attacking mother hey are you clapping or you are doing something like clapping but you see no weapon against your family shall prosper Every talk against your children and your entire family, I reverse your seven times back to sender. Your loudest amen will receive a miracle. 
stretch your hands on these sisters say oh lord, oh lord. every attack, every attack. On, the father, on the father on the mother on these sisters say cut fire can you clap and open fire right now when exactly did this happen um, do you recall the day the exact day I think it happened to me last year, December, at work. When I was going to work, I heard, um, sorry, I felt a sharp pain, and I decided to still go to work, but I couldn't per- bear the pain, so they took me to a You remember the exact day? Was it, it was, a Wednesday or a Tuesday? Or? I think it, it was, I can't really remember. It was a but Wednesday. I it was a Wednesday, I remember. It was a Wednesday. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It was a Wednesday. It was a Wednesday. And they did the thing such that it had to connect with a special day in your life. When exactly were you born? Wednesday. Uh, are you tired or you... Woo! Heat. Anything projected against your destiny, yes. I reverse it back to sender. Amen. I declare you shall not die. Amen. You will live to declare the words of God. Amen. Somebody clap and shout yes. yes. You are healed. Jesus. Finish. Yes. Finish. Amen. Are we clapping like that? Come here. You are totally healed. Man. That's what I saw. You are totally healed. Amen. And you can express your faith. Amen. And that is it. Amen. Stand here for me. I'm in a certain school. And it's around the central region area. I'm walking around the coasts. And I entered into a school. I saw St. Augustine's. You completed St. Augustine's College. Are you sure of what I'm talking about? Are you here or you are not here? There is power. You left something on campus. You left something on campus. You left something on campus. You had a dream on campus when you were young that someone was taking something from you. And that thing is left on campus. We have to restore. Otherwise, you can never become a man of God. Yet there is a call on you. Is that correct? To preach the gospel. But there's something blocking you because you have left something on campus. But tonight we take it and we release it back into your hand. Let there be a restoration. Restore. Somebody scream. There is power your hands up. Shall restore three times. Restore. 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 Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. As I clap and I pray. As I clap and I pray. Whatever the enemy has stolen. Whatever the enemy has stolen. Say, I receive it back. I receive it back. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Can you clap and begin to pray for restoration? Let's go, 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 let's go
Some people are not happy that you are in Europe. Jesus. I saw six people join hands. The agenda is to frustrate you till you go back. But you see, if God opens a door, nobody shuts it. Yes. Are you in the house? Yeah. You came here because God made it so. So nobody can hinder you from fulfilling your assignment while you are here. They are doing things to bring you back. But it will not happen. Amen. Many are the plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of God shall stop. Yes. And who speak it and it cometh to pass when the Lord has not commanded it. Listen, any agenda of hell after your life, Jesus. I reverse it back to Sunday Amen. and I prophesy yeah. that it will rather be goodness and mercy Amen. that shall follow you Amen. all the days of your life. Amen. Your loudest Amen will attract Amen. a miracle. Kadubala Gadaga. Break every chain. Break every chain. Everybody lift your hands up. Come on now. Prophesy. Prophesy. Stand behind our sister. I see a new baby. Amen. A new baby. Jesus. And they were trying to give the second cell problem to baby. But God protected and protected the baby. And this baby is becoming an international phenomenon. Amen. No devil can touch it. She will sing more than you. Amen. She will go places you have never gone. Amen. She will preach. Amen. Amen. Oh, he... You have a baby. You have a baby. Um, my youngest daughter is eight, and she's always wanting to prophesy, preach, sing. Jesus. She's always doing whatever I'm doing. Youngest daughter. <laughs> Oh, are you clapping for that?
May the Lord visit your homes. Amen. May the Lord visit your children. Amen. May the Lord visit anybody connected Amen. to you. Somebody clap and shout. Yeah. Oh. Hallelujah. Thank you. Clap your hands and give yes. it Where is Kojo, Kojo, Anto? Huh? Huh? My father. Your father. Where is he? He has died. He's died. I see the same spirit walking around looking for somebody to take. But not your blood. Man. The very spirit that took that old man's life is looking for blood by 31st December. Lift your and say, but not my blood. But not my blood. Oh, London, are you in the house? Lift your and say, not my blood. Say, not my children. Say, in the name of Jesus, I shall live to declare the works of the Lord. Say, I shall not die. I shall not die before my time. Before my time, I shall live. I shall live to declare to declare the works of God. The works of God. Can you clap and lift up? Father, I lay hands. Stretch your hands, all of you. Break! Break the terror by night and the affliction by day can never access your dwelling. Amen. I secure the boundaries of your habitation. Amen. And declare you shall not die prematurely. Amen. You will live to declare the works of God. Amen. Go and live your life. Amen. Come on, somebody clap and thank God. Amen. Uh uh, you are not clapping at all. Uh, mommy, what are you doing around the Winneba area? You come from Winneba? Come here. I learned that it's like you are tired. Sebastian. Sebastian. That's your son. Sebastian. 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 That boy will be a mortal billionaire. Wow. Yeah. Sebastian. I didn't know you were that jealous. Amen. Sweetie, how do you feel in your leg? How do you feel? Huh? You are feeling much better. I said the Lord healed you. Amen. You walk out of here totally healed. 
because the curse is broken so life has taken over are we clapping like that Sebastian you see I believe in Deuteronomy 8 18 do not forget the Lord your God who gave the power to be wealthy I believe in if you follow me, I'm probably one of the most hardworking young men in Ghana. I'm anointed, but I work hard. So I believe in hard work. But I'm saying there's a realm where God decides to own some things and release or lavish his blessings on people. And I see that kind of blessing coming on you. And that's the kind of grace that is coming on your son. Sebastian, where is he? He's in Africa. That boy. That boy, that boy, that boy, that boy, Kadoba. Did you come with her? You came with her. Who is Adubia? That's your name. Come here. Ah, are you tired? Somebody say, hey. Sing. Since is corrected tonight. In the same vein, every case hanging on your family, contending with your space, I demand your acquittal and your discharge. And I prophesy that what they said you couldn't do, power to do it. I speak over your life. Can you lift your hands and shout a resounding amen? Amen. As I lay hands. Bread. And may they visit the whole family. Amen. I break cases of women. Amen. Can you shout a big amen? amen. I will tell them something. Madam, look at me. Because of what you went through in your former marriage, you have said to yourself, enough is enough. You say, who told you all men are the same? We are not the same. There are some cool dudes. Mm. Oh, come on. Young clapping. Are you in the house? You'll be surprised. Somebody's coming to make you happy. Amen. Lift your hands, sweetheart. Kado, da, 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 da. The joy of the Lord. 
the joy of the Lord. She'll begin to burst into laughter. <laughs> Woo! Thank you, Holy Ghost. When the Lord turned away the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dreamed. I release. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Who is Prince Borton? That's your brother. A senior brother. Your senior brother. Yeah. Where is he? He's home. Welcome. Oh, he's also in the UK here. Yeah, he's here with his family. Wow. One, two. He's got how many kids? Two. Two. I didn't know you people. William Darcy, Francis Darcy. Can I continue? Prudence Darcy. Philomena Darcy. Who are they? Brothers and sisters. You are, they are your aunties and uncles. Yes, the curse is broken off all Amen. of them. I am in your father's house. Let every curse break right now. Amen. I said, I am in your father's house. Let every curse break right now. Amen. I said, I'm in your mother's house. Amen. Let every curse break right now. Amen. Lift your hand and shout, Yes. yes. Sit down, sit down. Let me. I'm now coming to prophesy. Uh, are you tired? No. I, 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 I heard some, somebody saying, when we come for prophetic, prophetic meeting, don't say prophesy. And I've got, it's an error. It's not biblical. It's an error. When a teacher comes, the teacher says, I will teach. When evangelist comes, says, I will evangelize. When a pastor comes, says, I will pastor. It's okay for the prophet to say, I will prophesy. Prophesy! Now, Ezekiel was carried into the valley of dry bones. And God, who is the all-wise God, told Ezekiel to prophesy. Prophesy. Now, if God told Ezekiel to prophesy, it's all right for you to tell me to prophesy. Prophesy! Oh, you ain't here. You are not here at all. Tell your brother that blessings are coming. Yeah. It will be a transgenerational blessing. It will be on him and all his children. Amen. He must have another child. Amen. Yeah, he must have another child. Amen. Yeah, because the blessing coming, I see it to fall on three. Jesus. So, Father, remember the young man, Prince. Tell him that for the next three weeks, Every Monday he should fast. Okay. Is it Kojo? Kwame. Kwame. Yeah. Yeah. Every Monday he should fast. Okay. And tell him that as he's fasting, one prayer point, Father, change my financial life. Amen. That's all. He should leave the rest to God. Amen. The next time I come, that young man will have a testimony to tell. Amen. I bless the whole family Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. What do you do here? School. Um, I just finished my masters. Masters. Get a job. Do, but then do your your side hustle. They say, and build yourself from there. You have you learned a trade? Sewing. Sewing. Don't throw it away. Your masters will earn some whatever, but it is your sewing that will put you there. Jesus. You see, these days, this kind of side hustles we take for granted are the very things that are bringing the money. Am I communicating? Yeah. So education is good. I've stated it. I've stated it. You know, it's very good. But there is 
a limit to what your education can do. Sure. And we are in a world today where you should become all things to all men. <laughs> and so just don't concentrate with your masters. Make sure you develop that side. I don't know why God said I should say, but work on that. Don't let any man who has really caused you affect you so much to a point where you have decided to drop that. Take it and build it from there. Go make Amen. that what God has called you to do. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. It's done. Sit down, both of you. Shout anointing three times. Anointing. 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 I can hear you. Anointing. 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 I love that. You are not just to sing. You are to preach. Teach and prophesy. I was in your village in the spirit, Winneba. And I saw a woman gave birth, knelt down and prayed and said, I dedicate this, my child, to you. So you are a daughter of destiny. You have a mandate and an assignment on your head. And you will fulfill that. Amen. She's prophesying. She said, I should ask you. That's what she's saying. That I should ask you who is charity. Your mom. That's what she's saying. Your mom is charity. That's what she said. Ah, are you here? was speaking in the spirit I saw numbers scattered I saw 11 I saw 7-7 seven, seven. I saw February and I saw an arrow from Anyoku Anyaku? yes what is that yeah, that's my mom's village, my mom's hometown. And she's the 11th of February. Huh? 11th of February. Your mom is born on 11th of February. That's right. I saw 7-7. Seven, seven. I don't know ah. what it is. I don't know what it is. How old is your mom? She's 76. She'll be 70. Oh, Jesus. She'll be 77. February 11th. On the February 11th. Ah, are you here? She's 77, and I saw an arrow from Anyoku, and you ah. say that's where she comes from. And she was speaking in tongues and she was mentioning the name Charity. Hmm. Jesus. Prophesy, sir. Mm. Go 
Somebody is about to receive a good news. Amen. Father, take record. Anybody who will shout, Amen. give it to the person. The louder your shout, the more the blessings. What is Rainham? That's where you stay. Come here. Is anybody called Abba? That's my name. I'm Nana Abba. Nana Abba. Yeah. Or Baba. Or Ba. your hands up. Rainham, it's an area. And that's where you live. Shakalabaya. Ekota Balakata, around the East London area. Kidabo Baba Baba Yando, Koshada Balikitako. I release angels to preserve your life. Amen. I declare that they will look for you, but they will not find you. Amen. Every monitoring spirit around your life, policing your movement. Holy Ghost! Is there any other person living around the area so that I can cover all of you? Anybody living in that area? You are covered. You are covered. You are covered. Who's Richard? Ajari. That's my auntie's husband. Is he here? Oh, he was supposed to be in he the meeting. He was supposed to be here. Kado Baya. We need to pray. Okay, he sent me a seed to come and sow. Oh, he sent you a seed yes. to come and sow. Yes, please. No wonder God has picked him up. Amen. No wonder. Oh, are you in the house? No wonder. No wonder. No wonder. Kado Baya. Eh, Kado Baya. Some people are planning evil against his business. I've seen that they've done things to a point where he's about to lose everything totally. And what makes me very angry is that to the extent that one of them has taken him to a shrine, that he should be paralyzed physically. Apart from business crumbling down, he should be paralyzed. That will not happen. Amen. Amen. And say it will not happen. It will not happen. I am not hearing you. It will not happen. Again, louder, shouting like you mean it. It will not happen. Amen. Stretch your hands on our sister. Whatever that is, it anchor. Uh, he says it's true. It's true. They were supposed to be here, but they've looked for a lawyer, which is meeting them tomorrow by seven. That's for what? To to take them through their their company is another. Attack. So we what I'm saying is true. It's true. So, for me, they say Monday. It's they'll okay. Give the final it's okay. Don't go into details. I'm not interested. I know everything in the spirit. Can I continue? Yes. Tell him that I said, if Femi doesn't stop the rubbish, he will have a problem. Okay. And tell him that I said. If Angela Wood doesn't stop that, she will have a problem. Okay. And tell him that I said within one month, everything shall turn around. Amen. Amen. Any contract that is supposed to be given to him shall be given to him. Amen. In the same way, anybody who has consulted whatever, whoever to do whatever against you, Holy Ghost! Fire! I think we should pray some judgmental prayers. Yes. If you are sitting down, stand up. 
lift your hands and say, My father, my destiny my changer. Father, my father, my destiny changer. As I clap and I pray, as, as I, I clap and I pray, pray. arise, oh Lord. Arise, oh Lord. Let every enemy catch fire. Let every enemy catch fire. Can you clap and fire? Let me hear let every enemy catch fire. Let every witch catch fire. Let every agent catch fire. Let every attack be cast. Raku bakasha da bote. Eka bakusha da ba. Radi bakusha da ka ba. Akasha da ka. Akasha da ka ba. Eko da ya da ka. Eka da brasha. Rababa. Eko bakasha. Rakasha da ka. Anybody anywhere who has ganged up with whoever to do whatever against you, you will escape it in the name of Jesus. Amen. I lay my hands as a point of contact. If you can call them to come and see me for counseling. Because after I'll close at three, I'll have counseling from three to five. So if they can come, that will be fine for them. I want to speak over them. I break the spell Amen. and I turn things around. Amen. It's a shuttle. Amen. Clap your hands. Sit down. Jesus Christ. I cover the old lady. Amen. No, they want to take him, take her out at 77. Mm. But I cancel. Amen. I move her into the next level. Amen. Amen. Who is Mark? My husband. Prophesy. <laughs> Prophesy. He's a good man. Yes, sir. He's a very good man. Yes, sir. It's true. He's a very good very, man. Very, extra. He's a very good man. Extra. He's a very good man. He's. He's a very good man. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Very, very yes, man. Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He's a good man. Oh. Go on, sir. And go and tell him that I said mm. his goodness will pay off. Amen. Amen. He should get ready for financial Amen. opening. Amen. Financial we openings. receive it. In the you know, name of I'm Jesus. coming to Birmingham on Sunday. Yes. If possible, let your husband meet me. I we'll want to there, lay hands sir. on him. Amen. And speak a word on him. Amen. Amen. Speak a word on him. Amen. Tell Elam. Oh, my daughter. <laughs> Francesca. Ah, are you tired? Yes. Oh. Rich inside. Thank you, Lord. Oh, it's my time. It's Tell season. Elok. Mm. It's not over yet. Ah, ah. The enemy has done his worst. Yes. But God is about to step on hey. the stage. And Amen. God is about to glorify that Amen. girl. All the prayers you have said on her. Ah. Get ready from now to the end of the year. Amen. You will see a manifestation. Amen. Amen. Is anybody praying for your children? Yes. God will answer by fire. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Emilia. Oh, Jesus. Emilia. Where's Daddy? Emilia. This Emilia is watching me online. Okay. Emilia. Huh? Your sister in law. I don't know if she's the one, but as I'm detailing, maybe you know. Ajiman. Yes. That's the name. She's watching online. Ah, are you people tired? Can you scream?
Creep Roll! Emilia. The husband is into ministry, right? Huh? Come here. Anything sabotaging is a sermon. Koda Babadiga. Ah, Koba, ask her if she knows one comfort. Or say, ask her if she knows one comfort. Or say, ask her if she knows one comfort. Or say, this comfort. Or say, I say, Jenny, I done a sim. Or am I penny? I come at that now, sir. So you ask her. God is coming through. God is coming through. Kado baha ya de de kado. Eba ba 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 ka. Teko shabra ken toli kate. I'm seeing twins. I'm seeing twins. She has twins. Yeah, I'm seeing twins. Twins. Two boys. Yeah, I'm seeing twins. Prophesy. Ah, are you tired? I'm seeing twins. Me say I can be here and I will talk about what is happening on the internet. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. Let your leg and scrap. Oh, baby, do a song. There's a song in your heart. Do it. Covenant keeping God. Can we stand? Lift your hands up. There is no one like you. Can I see your hands up? Come on, just wash it. There is no one like you. Can I hear your voice? Come on, everybody now. Covenant keeping God. There is no Come on, come on, come on. You can lift your hands and worship. Yeah. two minutes you want to lift your voice and pray in this atmosphere father let every need be answered can you lift your hands up say in the name of jesus in the name of jesus father answer me by fire father answer me by fire come on lift your voice begin to clap and pray there is no one like you. There is no one like you. Oh, 
Carry your two hands on your hands. It's a sign that you are carrying your miracles home. Carry it home. Carry it home. Who answers this number? Zero seven. Eight seven. Nine eight. One seven. Three six two. Some of you don't know your numbers. A good news is coming. Amen. You're going to receive a phone call in about one month time. That will be a clam call. I saw you holding white handkerchief and you were dancing. You were dancing. I saw the number in a flash. Father, I release the miracle. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please take your seat. Clap your hands. Amen. Go and enjoy this anointing. God bless you. Woman of God, I bless that your girl and I pray that she will honor the word of God over her life. Amen. And your husband. Let him come and see me. I'll lay hands and then doors will open. God bless you. Please take your seats. God bless you. Um, oh, you're not clapping. Uh, you, you stood for her. Come. Can it kneel down? Let me pray for you. What's your name? Nana Ama. I lay hands on you. I lay hands on you. Receive the blessings of God. Jesus Christ. Did you come alone? Did you come alone? Let me walk in. Please come, come, come. Let my help, my help come from the Lord, the Lord which made heaven and so earth. Just Wallace, Wallace. You wanna suffer life, life to be moved. You've cried. But tonight is the last night. God is wiping away. Can somebody stand behind there? God is wiping away your tears. Bring it to me. Sing it, girl. You are beautiful. Don't listen to whatever anybody has said that has really called you. With you, and he has a good plan for your life. Bring it out, bring it out, girl. Bring it out. Come here. What's your name? Even forevermore. I said, what is Willis? Willis, 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 You are Stephanie. Lift my eyes onto the Can I have oil? Get the oil for me.
it is broken they will marry they will be happy i confront that altar So you stood up initially could you have stood like that for that hours you are healed you can move if you want to move all of my help coming from somebody Next year, by this time, I'll come and hear your testimony. Amen. God bless you. It's done, sweetie. It's done. I said, you are very beautiful. I don't care about what he said, that I've broken you. You are very beautiful. You are the apple of God's eye. He calls you a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a chosen generation. You are an ambassador of God. Sit down. Sit down. I'll continue, but let me take some offerings. The two of you come. I would like the two of you to sow a seed. Okay? Yeah, I don't know how you do it. Maybe through transfer or whatever, but you will sow a seed of thousand and thousand. If you have to even agree with God and do it in a period, make sure you do it. A thousand because Deuteronomy chapter 11 verse 1 or 111 the lord god will bless you a thousand times more than your ancestors as a scripture so that's the revelation god gave to me to instruct them to do to do and Amma and your sister can you do a thousand come here whatever he tells you to do do it that's what the spirit is saying so you can do half okay and then spread the others according to your feet make sure you do it you see my secretary there see her and just tell her your story and come back i want to lay hands and anoint you see stephanie is the one who's been calling you so come and i'll pray for you listen sometimes the prophetic has said that the fake is not ready to bear fruit looking at the economy and everything i'm not ready but jesus will still require that the fig will bear fruit even though it's season to bear fruit is not due and so you probably have your own plans you know but god can step into your space and anytime god demands something from you he has a harvest in mind for you can you do it do it sometimes you take advantage of anointings and atmospheres 
and you vow that God, I will not let this thing pass. If I'm a prophet, which I know I am, do it and watch God. Go see her. Yeah. Are we clapping like that? Sweetie, can I pray for you? Come on here. Maku Pradeshti Karate. How many kids? Four children. Fantastic. And you look cute. Wow. The Lord said, lay hands on her. For my anointing is coming on her. The Lord said, lay hands on her. Anointing is coming on her. If you can do a thousand, come and stand here for me. I want to pray for you. If you want to, if you can do a thousand, Bishop. I'm blessed. And looking at your ministry, Second Chronicles 2020, believe in the prophets, you prosper. I believe in what I'm seeing, and I want the blessing of God to come on me. But I want to sow a seed of a thousand to support the work and tap into the work. You can come over and stand here. I'm going to pray for you. Get me the oil. One person should have the oil behind me here. Stand here for me. Okay. Lift your hands up for me. Who's Victoria? Her twin sister. That's a second name. And it's a name they don't normally use to let you know I'm a prophet. Are you clapping or you are? Victoria. 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 My twin sister's second name. Yes, I know. Victoria. Victoria, Victoria was going to have a cardio attack in the next seven days. But whilst you are standing here representing, God is acquitting Vicky from that evil legislation. Every cardiovascular attack, put your hand on your chest like that for me. And as a point of contact, I release Vicky. to Victoria. This to Are we clapping like that? All of my health coming from the A seed. You can talk to your uncle, let them do a thousand for the company. You hear what I said? And let them believe God with the anointing. That when Papa came here, they probably don't know me, you know me, but as they sowed that seed, the Lord spoke for them. And then there was a certain nation, Moab. And they were fighting Israel. And the battle had become very intense. To a point where Israel had overpowered them. Then the king of Moab took his child, his crown prince, his son, who is supposed to succeed him, and, and, and slew him over the wall. And the battle was turned around. Sacrifices can turn things around. I don't know how far the situation has got him. But you will sow a seed for them. I don't know if you will connect with them, whatever. Go and see her. And then if you can do half and connect with them, let them come and see me this morning for the council and bring the half. Let them sow. And let them covenant with God that if this man of God is from God, by December, may whatever they've lost come back to them. Amen. Sit down. Hey, what is this? You have been seeing snakes in your dreams. Who is that? I dreamed and I saw the snakes. Who is that? Are you the one? Yes, snakes. Snakes. I just turned and I saw snakes. Prophetess, can you show a seed? Yes, sir. Yes. I want you to show a seed for the family. There is an yes. altar. It's an evil altar. Yeah. It is speaking against the family. Mm. And you have become the hindrance. Right. Praying. Stop. So they are against 
you to make sure you go down. Yes. It, somebody say it will not happen. It will not happen. You see, we are all into ministry. Sometimes it's difficult because you also have to support your own work. But sometimes if you support another man in his season, mm. you also enter your own season. Mm. Okay. So, prophetess, sow a seed of thousand. Do it. I'll do it. If you do it, let it be between you and God. Mm. And raise an altar for the family. Yes. Every snake. The money is not buying the miracle. Please don't get me wrong. You are connecting with the anointing that is in the house. Yes. And your money is your life. So when you connect with your seed, you are saying, I believe in this with all my heart. And as I'm supporting him to do this great work, may the oil on him mm -hmm. also speak for me. That is what we're doing. Can we clap for that? time is up time is up father i bless your daughter and declare that as she obeys the prophet let the heavens smile on the family we bind every snake spirit come out in jesus name i'm a woman of god please do it if you can see her and whatever or you meet me at birmingham and do it as and when according to your faith i know let's clap for jesus please here Where is your sister? She's just come back from Seychelles. Who invited you? Uh, you came God, God told me to come. God told you to come? Yeah. You don't know me, I don't know you. And God spoke to you to come. Yes. Charlie. <laughs> wow. Lift your hands up. Father, remember what's your name? Vanessa. Vanessa. Remember Vanessa and remember the sister. And cover them. The why you brought her has been fulfilled. Bishop, I can support with 500. 500. Come here, I'll pray for you because of my time. I can support you 500. Sweetie, can I pray for you? Come here. What do you do? You're a preacher. Who invited you? My auntie got sent me the next set you from ABK. You are from those of ABK. Wow. ABK. Some of you don't understand the, 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 the tongues we are speaking. Vanessa, can you support my ministry? How much can you support? Vanessa, the Lord sent you to come. Yes. yes. So do something before you die. <laughs> That's what we say in Ghana. Okay, do something before you die. I want to sow a seed for you and your sister. Okay? Yeah, do 500 for you and your sister. And connect and say to God, every prophecy Papa has spoken, Father, we connect and receive it. Okay? Go do it and come here. When you come, open your hands. I want to anoint you. Okay? So do it. See the lady for me. And come. I like your smile. Are you married? Come, I'll pray for you. For God to open the marital door. 500. Come on here for me. Are we clapping like that? Who else? 500. 500. Let some people support the bishop. I believe this work is worth supporting. I believe this anointing is worth supporting. And I'm certain if you support what I'm doing, the Lord will supply every need and meet you at the point of your need. Curtis, do it for me. Do 500, okay? Uh, secretary, do 500. Where is she? Yes, do. Did you hear what I said? Did you hear it? Do 500. God, there's a door that must open. Do it for me. You've done it. Father, hold my hands and bless your daughters in the name of Jesus. May they call or come and meet me next year when I come with testimonies. I call it done. Sweetie, hold my hand. I call it done. 
in Jesus' name. Please take your seats. Amen. God bless you. 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 What's your name? What we been praying for? Wow. Has come. Long time. How's the family? Look at you. Wow. The Lord Give me oil. Kadoba na bagada gada 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 gada. What you waiting for? Jesus. Has come. I need an usher. I need an usher. Oh Jesus. Can you see what? In Jesus' name. What's your name? Has done. Benedict, every need in your heart be met. In Jesus' name. See Look at me. Stop crying. God has taken over the fight. Okay. Go and see her and just do it. Or if you have the cash here too, you can do that. Okay. So see what? Get this. Do it. Okay. I bless my son in Jesus' name. Go do it. Father, I bless my daughter and I release grace on her. In Jesus' mighty name, let every desire be met in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. How are you doing it? How are you doing it? How are you doing it? You see it? Okay. Are we clapping like that, everybody? Fresh anointing for ministry. Fresh anointing for ministry fresh anointing fresh anointing fresh anointing hey you were worthy of it all money now bishop i will do 200 200 200 200 200 200 god bless you 200 300 wow 300 i bless you in jesus name let's clap our sister 300 man of god how much are you doing you deserve the glory okay he's doing 800 he said himself and his wife they are doing 800 they would do it today as soon as he get to the house you do it so take the number from the secretary and do it let's clap for him amen come here man of god that's fine so you take the number from him father i bless my son in jesus name amen god bless you make sure you do it amen let's clap for the man of god okay put it in a frame ball okay come here so father i bless your daughter in jesus mighty name i pray it is done amen god bless you let's clap for jesus vanessa that's fine hold my hands i release the blessing on you in jesus name amen god bless you have you taken the number good good god bless you take your seat amen hallelujah mommy sow a seed okay yeah sow a seed 500 yes please see her hold my hands i seal every anointing in jesus mighty name amen it's done god bless you let's clap bishop i can do 100 i can do 100 even if you've come a thousand and you have 100 here you want to give it you can go ahead and do it i just want to support the ministry i want to sow look at her did you see that wow. i like your smile my goodness is it here you transfer okay 100 okay keep coming let's clap for them as they're coming what's your name elizabeth have we met before wow i bless you and pray that god will remember you and your children and your household in jesus mighty name amen please do it is it here okay so you see and do it amen let's clap for her i bless your daughter in jesus name amen please do it bless in jesus name please do it bless in jesus name what's your name Lord, father bless mr Watin in jesus name amen please do it please do it come on clap 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 50 
50 oh dear 50 50 ask for 50 everybody father bless my son in jesus name amen god bless you kelly make sure you do it sweetie i bless you in jesus name amen god bless you god bless you 50 50 50 50 50 encourage them encourage them let's support a worthy cause i bless you in jesus name amen make sure you do it 50 i bless you in jesus name amen god bless you make sure you do it make sure you do it god bless you 50 God bless you in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. God bless you. Go do it. Come on, clap, 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 clap. Wow. I want all of us to be outstanding. Now, this is how we do it. Before I share the benediction with you, all of us are taking a seed. It could be 10, 20, 5, 50, whatever. Everybody, you're lifting it up. I'm going to say some things on it. And then we will sow. Hallelujah. So take it, pick it up pick it up if you want to do it online so that's fine but that's we call it general c just do it and then i'll speak a prophetic word over you makuta palakata kashikatopa greto prefa sukaliki tiki paradushte ingo de keshkete bleko vradishtu kababali tatasta melonkete kradushte kavili ikote brekatuli babaya Liko shege dege seprente karadusti imaya lintoka lift your hands up makupa tali papa father bless every hand lifted father bless every hand lifted father bless every hand lifted as we come to sow may our heavens open and grant us goodly speed in jesus name amen you can do the song as they come with their offerings i see you are tired So praise team no. Where's our brother? Okay. So we'll play. Ah, okay. That versatile. Okay. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. All right, let's do some songs. Yeah, God bless you. From everywhere, you can come and just sow your seed. Let's go. Down with Da we da we wa makume mo Eya ye ye son kwasi da so From everywhere we. you can come and just show yourself Oh na me Let's tell and give the Lord the best Na me da de da wa si 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 Da we da we wa makume mo Eya ye ye son kwasi da so kubi Hey, <laughs> Dawi dawi wa makumbe mo Eya yi yesu nkwansi da suru nkubi O nyami Sade pachu me na me nade ta Mi dawasi 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 Dawi dawi wa makumbe mo Come on give the Lord a dance Eya yi yesu nkwansi da suru nkubi O nyami so they part to me, na me na de ja. Me da wa si 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 da wa si. Wow! Stand and lift your hands. We left with four more minutes. But before that, I came with some books. You have them, I think, on the desk. Yeah, we have hearing the voice of God. After prophesying for uh, 33 years, I think I know some things that I can share how to hear God's voice. And the, the case is reversed. Uh, the force of expectation shaped for significance. And I think we have some French books. If you're a French speaking person, you can also buy some. Okay, it's on the desk so you can get them. And I know God will bless you. Amen. You go to the desk, you can get some. You are not buying books, you are supporting our ministry. And I know God will bless you for supporting us. And then after that, I'm going to be having counseling session 
at the um, porter cabin okay for two hours i'll just be sitting down i'll be receiving people just in case you want to meet me to one-on-one -on -one, you can do that and then you go through the secretary they will just take you through a process and then you can come and see me and i can speak over you amen lift your hands up for me and close your eyes it's been fantastic and i want to say thank you to all of you the instrumentalists man you guys are amazing i pray that next time we'll do it big for the glory of god i bless you bless your ministry some of you will own studios in africa and studios here in europe in the name of jesus and then i bless all the protocol i bless all the ushers all the team that made this possible thank you for all the minstrels um lady franca our dear sister baba the prophetess aram and everybody who you know made it possible and all the singers and the pastors who came thank you so much for coming and thank you for standing with us thank you Kwesi, and thank you um, 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 my daughter stephanie and thank you uh, my son um, curtis and thank you to all the guys who made this possible i know lives that have been affected certainly will go into your account in heaven thank you kelly and thank you all of you for making this possible father i bless everybody who came today and declare that needs will be met as they walk to their various homes angelic escort divine protection greater glory keep them on every side in jesus mighty mighty name lift your hands as we call uh, pastor solomon to release the blessings of god on us just in case your train um will be coming around five area you can still come at the porter cabin and just relax there until five o'clock clock then you can catch your train and go don't be in the cold amen lift your hands and close your eyes i love you god bless you i hope you fill the forms out there we're going to put all of us on a platform i'll be meeting you once a while on zoom praying with you speaking over you until i come back next year and next year i know it's going to be very big and i know you are going to come with people because at least now you've seen my ministry and the anointing and i know next time we're going to make it massive to the glory of god i love you and god bless you amen father solomon bless us Let's close our eyes, please. Father, we thank you. We thank you for your anointing. We thank you for your vis visitation. Let any prophetic word.